right along, we have yet another Lara Croft entering the chat. Ooh, Ooh. What? We got a new one. Now, this comes to us from the folks over at Variety. Sophie Turner is set to play Lara Croft in this latest Tomb Raider installation from Amazon. So Sophie Turner is nearly set for the lead role in Amazon's upcoming Tomb Raider TV series. Sources say that the deal is not fully closed yet, but is expected to close soon. Turner, Turner will play the lead role of Lara Croft, the titular Tomb Raider. The show was greenlit at Amazon earlier this year with Phoebe Waller-Bridge, of course, of Fleabag fame, set to write and executive produce under her Amazon overall deal. It was first reported as being in development at the streamer in January of 2023. Um, yeah. Sophie Turner, who, of course, most of us know from Game of Thrones. Yeah. A few of us try to forget her from X-Men. Um, <laughs> no shade, Sophie. That movie just wasn't a great vehicle for any of you. Um, but had a really cool train scene. Her and Anne can be friends again because it's, it's Splitsville. Oh, so, yeah. There yeah. we go. This can work yeah. out. This can <laughs> so be the Jonas great. Brothers are free again. You know, Well, at least that one. That one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one is. I, I like this in theory, actually. I will say there is a really great Tomb Raider series on Netflix right now, the animated Ooh. one with Hallie Atwell voicing Lara Croft. And it is excellent, in my opinion. It's super, super fun. It's very, very charming. But I enjoy Sophie Turner, and I do want to see more from her. I don't think a lot of her roles have allowed her to really flex that much, especially because in something like Game of Thrones, you are set to be so team this, team that, you pick a house and then you find these characters very polarizing and they make choices that you maybe have fights with your friends mm, over. But if you're picking with. House Lannister, I'm gonna be questioning your morals. That's very so. true, that is very, very true. <laughs> but I think this could be a really interesting thing and on top of it, having it at Amazon does give me a little bit more hope too. I've really enjoyed the series they've been doing lately. Rings of Power season two is really fabulous. Loved Fallout. Love Fallout. Love what they've done with that. And Phoebe Waller-Bridge is a fabulous writer. I was not a fan of her popping up in Indiana Jones, but she did what she needed to with that role. That wasn't her fault. That was some writing there that she wasn't part yeah, of. Yeah, I find that interesting how they're like, I cannot stand that actress for the way she treated Indiana Jones. That's how it was written, guys. I don't think you understand. That's yeah, not reality. That was, that was how the show went. You, you know, if this series is good, and then the upcoming God of War series is good, mm -hmm. Amazon will make a name for itself for as the, video the game? live action video game series house and i'd say the savior of video game adaptations aside from aside from obviously uh last, last of, of us. us was hbo but yeah mm -hmm. yeah they're, well, how they treated fallout was a master class i think and how you respect the ip and then make it your own when you hear this though john how do you feel about this casting choice um okay so there's there's always two aspects when stuff like this comes up the first thing that people are always going to want to talk about is do they look like the character yeah obviously she doesn't look like lara croft but to me, that's never an important thing. Quite frankly, unless like you're talking about something about their appearance is absolutely 100% important to who and what the character is. That's just not the case here. So does she look anything like Lara Croft? No, but I don't care about that. I, I really don't. All that has ever mattered to me was, are you putting in a good performer? Are you putting in a good actor? They're not. <gasps> I, 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 what, what what are we doing here what are we doing she's not good um now look she she was perfectly fine in game of thrones but what we realized after that was that that was really more how good the character was when you hold up her performances against like a peter dinklage or something or other people who are on the show she's a little bit wooden and then granted the x-men stuff she had to try to work with wasn't a lot of great material mm -hmm. granted but she was the most wooden out of all people in that her best performance is splashing around in a bathtub in a jonas brothers video i mean that i mean that, that's been her best performances is appearing in in her now ex-husband music videos now listen it it might be unfair for me to say that because the reality is we don't have a huge sample size of Sophie Turner's acting to really look on that. But I think that's also a testament that nobody's wanted to work with her. Like she she hasn't been offered stuff. She hasn't been, had offers lining up as far as we know uh, to be in anything. And so, listen, I am going to take all of my feelings about this and leave them at the door when it comes time to sit down and watch this new series. 
and hopefully she'll blow us away and hopefully she'll totally own the role and she'll be great in it. I love it when that happens. I love going, I had no faith in that and I ended up loving it. I love it when that happens. But if I'm going to be honest right now, I'm. this is a massive mistake. I think this is a massive miscast. I It honestly takes away a lot of my hope for this. And I think this is going to be a disaster. And, I and really also, do. I think this is going to be an utter disaster. Uh, let's let's be real. It's like uh, uh, the Lara Croft. It's going to be a physical role. It's gonna. It's on Amazon. Who hasn't really? They had Fallout and stuff like that. What well, that that reduces your sample size of who you could get. I guess maybe. Um, uh, I I loved the last Tomb Raider movie with Elisa Vikander. Yes. I I, I like that movie too. I like that movie a lot. I was She's hoping great. there was a second one. Um, I'm not sure if a Tomb Raider series is something I'm going to end up following. Um, but I, I hope it is good. I mean, Amazon needs to build up their, their library so they could compete with the rest of the, the streaming platforms. I wish all of them do well. So I don't know. I will say, I think the smartest thing about announcing this casting choice right now and saying that, you know, it's not finalized, but this is what we're looking at is, to get a is one to get your feelers out on it. But she also has a mini series out right now called Joan that I've seen a few advertisements for here or there, she being Sophie Turner, and I've gone, oh, I should maybe check that out. Now I'm definitely gonna check that ah. out. She's playing a jewel thief in that, and I wanna see her acting chops in mm -hmm. it. So I can see her doing a little action, doing a little kind of espionage work, see how that could translate into the Lara Croft role. What's that on? I am not sure. Okay, sorry. Um, but I, I saw it came up in my Instagram feed. But you know, what Ray, Ray brought up the Alicia Vikander one. Mm -hmm. I, I look, look, it, it didn't, they didn't have to do that, do this, but I mean, I would much rather have heard an announcement that they were just going to bring back Alicia Vikander Absolutely. to be in the series. She was great. I, Absolutely. I, I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm actually at a loss here. I, I don't understand this casting at all. And again, I hope I'm proved wrong. I love it when we are, but I, I just think this is a disastrous mistake. I really do. Mm. Well, there you go. I think throw a tank top on her and get her some brown hair dye and let's see what happens. <laughs> By the way, I'm getting a message that Joan is on CW. CW? Ah. Oh, well, yeah, it's on there CW. You go. That, that doesn't give me that, a lot of excitement, <laughs> but hey. That tracks. <laughs> I'll still check it out so I can they, see her do that. Do they even update the CW app anymore? I don't even know. <laughs> do they even update CW? I no, mean, I think, I, I don't I think know Arrow is still anymore. on the banner. So. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, well, it's been a minute. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, The Perfect Gene. So the colder season is here, and guess what? I am living in the perfect gene. These genes are super stretchy, soft, and totally trick people into thinking I've got my life together. And I'm telling you this because I actually love them. These are absolutely, no questions asked, my favorite genes that I have ever owned. And yes, the folks over at the perfect gene are paying me to say that, but it's still absolutely true. These are my favorite genes ever. These genes have enough stretch to accommodate Thanksgiving dinner and are comfy enough to wear all day watching Sunday football. Plus, even though they feel like sweatpants, they look good enough to be your go-to pants for date night. And listen, the Perfect Gene isn't even just pants. They've revolutionized t-shirts as well. The Perfect Tee has just enough stretch to hide that beer belly while accentuating your arms and chest for that flawless look. My guys, it's finally time to stop crushing your balls in uncomfortable jeans by going to theperfectgene.nyc. Our listeners get 15% off your first order, plus free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges when you use the code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 15% off for new customers at theperfectgene.nyc with the promo code CAMPIA. And after you purchase, they'll ask you where you heard about them. Please support the John Campus Show and tell them we sent you. F your khakis and get the perfect gene. Guys, let us know how you feel about this. Sophie Turner as Lara Croft, does that make sense to you? Or are you like John going, nope, <laughs> stick to music videos? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.